Good morning, good afternoon, Precious Minutes family. You can see I'm wearing my shirt. So, precious, precious Diaries. You know, out here on my own, out here on my, on my patio, a little bike over there. But um, so what I want to talk about on this precious diaries is um, uh, you know, so you can see the hair growing a little bit, you know, but um. I just want to talk about, get more insight into, you know, my spiritual journey, what God working with me on and working me through and past. But, so on this particular day, for those that know, on this journey, you know, I know I'm bounced in and out with the post and my consistency on stuff that's going on. But um, this is just um, me giving more insight into, you know, some of the lows of what's going on in my journey. Well, one, one of the things that kind of, for me, like people that might know me, that kicked off my whole journey with everything is God been working with me, you know, for a while now through, you know, where I'm living in my hometown in Flint, the whole thing that's going on here and just me, you know, continuing to strive for what God, you know, put on my heart for me to do. And, um, the this the some of the stuff of the magnitude of it is so big for what you know he wants for me to do for my community and everything here it's a lot of a lot of ups and downs and trials and everything i mean it adds for like what 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 my program you know just certain things that i may might have stated here and there about you know the you know the devil or God's his imps, whatever it may be, or whatever negative forces that's working against what I'm trying to do, you know, for the young people here to better, you know, my community for me. And, you know, some struggles with that, you know, I do have an actual location and everything, but the arrangement of how things were supposed to go with the program things didn't really work out how it was supposed to whether it's communication issues or whatever it may be you know um but yet and still i strive past that I, I i show up every day and pray over my space pray over what god gave me what he blessed me with whether there's students there kids there or not or people know about it or not you know just a few of the downs and my own things that I'm going through in my life personally that I'm working past you know grief loss and you know pushing for a better future for myself and family stuff and all kinds of things that you know certain people that's trying to build stuff really don't we don't really try to show that but i'm trying to be more open and transparent as to the downs that you experience when you are striving for something great like there can be a lot of things that'll arise that's you know the devil might put up to try to stop you whether it be your confidence you know um your ambition or just their own jealousy or whatever it may be but you know i'm shooting this to show and explain like it ain't always the great stuff you see 
that's going on. You know, a lot of this stuff go on at the same time, you know. It's kind of two forces going at the same time, the bad and the good both. So, but like for what God at push, put on my heart for me to do, I have to continue to, you know, seek him, of course, and pray to him. But like I said, I almost recently just lost my apartment again for like the, I don't know how many times, more than I can count. Not officially, you know, it was me and someone trying to maintain keeping this apartment out here just until we get all get everything going with the um, foundation and programs and stuff so but this is just like some of the lower t uh, times like and I'm just giving a view to uh, precious diaries for y'all to see like it ain't always what y'all see the great stuff and happy and all of that it's some lows and a lot of you know downs that you have to strive through and i'm bringing this up just to say like what god put pushed for me like even last night with struggling with what trying to get what was needed to handle the situation the whole night you know i was up like at three in the morning you know tossing turning um praying i'm talking to god you know i asked to like you know, where what do I where where do I do next or what am I what do I need to do to get past this and in those times it, it's difficult. I don't always really seek people because individuals don't understand that uh, don't understand how to help advise somebody and not put their own life or own self into it. And when somebody going through certain things, certain people that you laying on your negatives of your stuff it just kind of adds to the burden for them so if you are a person and you do that you, you shouldn't do that you should be you know expounding uplifting hope and encouragement for that person because that's really what's the best thing that's needed and like I said prayer you know now is something like I said I just when I'm feeling you know, just don't know what to do. I'm hurt, crying. I just pray all the time to God. I talk to him. I, t I just have a conversation with him. And for me, it always seems to soothe me, him, you know, speaking with him and pretty much just laying my burdens down to him. And the trick on that, though, when you do that is... You have to leave it, those things there. You don't want to continue to uh, worry after those situations and those things because whether you know it or not, God is handling it right in that conversation of that breakdown that you have into him. So, you know, I, always, I, I tell or try to encourage people in them times, what I, that's what I do. I, I just sit quietly and I talk to God and... I try to do my best as to listen to what, you know, the Spirit, Holy Spirit tells me and what He's saying, guides you to, as to how to relieve yourself through that. Because, you know, what my business partner said, which I do know, is it, it's all just a test. You know, one of the times I've said, like, is the juice worth the squeeze? You know, that's what one of those, uh, you know, pressure cooker moments where God is trying to see and refining you like or are you serious of your commitment to him to what you to what he need for you to do and not get lost in your own ego and pride for yourself or whatever and do what the spirit tell you what he tells you you know and sometimes he ain't gonna always tell you to do anything you know, and that's the one thing I've been learning in my journey that God been telling me is like, precious, there ain't, all you can do is talk to me and pray to me. I know you don't understand it, you know, at the time, what's going on, what's happening. But the best thing for you to do is to not lose your head, your attitude 
try not to become angry. Now, I'm not going to say I don't be angry because I do be angry in them conversations with God, but I'm myself, but you know, because it, you know, growth hurts. It hurts sometimes. It hurts what God had to put you through what you, for you to to be where he, the strength he needs you to be. So it's difficult at times. But I'm saying this to you to don't stop praying. Don't stop going to him, praying to him because he will answer. And as of right now, the situation, God has blessed me once again. I thank you, Lord, because I know only he can do it. Because I, I didn't have anything in my human will to, that I could do but pray. So, you know, this is one of them lower times. So, but like I said, God has saw me through. And it may be just through the month or whatever, but he answered it. He saw me through. You just have to remain strong through it and not give up on him and not turn your back on him. So, you know, God is good. So I'm just sending this conversation as encouragement to y'all to always, you know, take it to him. God bless y'all.